So now my patient is complaining of having breakthrough pain that's not being resolved by the dose that he's on. So I have a physician order to give a bolus dose and I'll show you how you do that. Of course, you're gonna to have to have your key, channel select. I wanna give a bolus dose. I set my key to program. And I'm also gonna show you how the guardrail safety software works should I make a decimal error or key press error. I'm gonna think that I'm hitting 2.5, but I'm accidentally gonna hit 25. So this is an example of where pharmacy can set a hard stop, meaning I can't do anything except reprogram the pump. Nothing past three. Now I'm gonna go back and put in two and make sure I hit that decimal, 0.5, and press confirm. Now this is what we call a soft limit because it's asking me, do you wanna proceed, yes or no? I have a physician order, my patient condition is warranting it, so I'm gonna say yes, and I'm gonna override that, and press start. It's not a bad thing if I have a physician order and my patient's condition is warranting it. Just so you know, this is the smart PCA we talked about, and you can have hard stops and soft limits so that the soft limits can be overridden. And notice the G right here. This just means I'm in a guardrail alert, and if you press that, you can see what the guardrail alert is and what the um, guardrail limit was of two, and I overrode that by half a milligram. So now you can see that we're delivering this bolus dose, and it's scrolling across saying that it's a bolus dose, and the green light is infusing, meaning that the dose is going. Once the dose is complete, then it's gonna flip back automatically to the base rate that we had of that one milligram. And you'll be able to also see that reflected in your patient history under the bolus dose. You look under the patient detail and you'll be able to see how much was given and at what time it was given.